Hey YouTube, it's Mark again. I know it's been a little while, but I've been busy dealing with all the things that I was neglecting during hunting season. Now that I've kind of caught up on some of that stuff, it's time to start thinking about how to get ready for the next season. And one of the things I like to do is make sure that my freezer is empty so I got space for all the new meat. A while ago, I did a video about how to clean a duck to get the most meat out of it. Today, I'm gonna to be following up on that video to show you how to do that same thing but to do it with a duck that you think you want to mount. Now a lot of people, when they shoot a duck that they want to mount, they just throw the whole thing into the freezer and they don't cut any of the meat out, they just send it off to the taxidermist. And I don't think this really makes sense because after all, we do hunt for meat and so I, I'm fine with everybody putting, uh, putting their trophies on the wall, uh, but I still feel that I should be able to get the meat out of it if I am gonna hang it up on the wall. So. This right here is a, a really nice Drake Ringer that I shot last season. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to clean this out and get all the meat out uh, and still be able to send this off to the taxidermist. Uh, something else that I'm gonna be doing in the future is uh, some amateur taxidermy. Uh, I've already done a little bit before. Um, I, I uh, mounted a hog that I shot a while ago and I'm gonna be getting into waterfowl as well. So uh, I'm actually going to make videos as I go through the full process of trying to mount this duck right here. Uh, I can't promise that uh, it's going to be the best result, but it's going to be my first time trying. I figured you guys might be interested in watching. Okay, so let's get started. All that you're going to need to do this is a good pair of kitchen shears and a disposable scalpel that you can buy online for a couple bucks. Okay, so just like with any duck that you're cleaning, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find the breastplate and we're going to make an incision using the scalpel. Now you want to try and part the feathers out of the way so that you're not cutting those feathers off. So we're going to move the feathers a little bit and try and just cut the skin. And as you go down, move the feathers out of the way. Now once you've done that, you want to try and peel the skin off of the meat gently. And with these diver ducks, it's usually a little more difficult because they stick, the, the skin sticks to the breasts a little more than puddle ducks. So the beginning can be kind of a pain in the butt, but once you get it going, it starts to peel off a lot easier. The best way to do this is just pull up on the skin and then gently cut with the scalpel and the skin will separate right from the meat. Now normally when you do this, just to uh, take the breasts out, you wouldn't actually cut as far down as you're going to now. What you're actually going to do now is you're going to cut all the way down to the anus. So you're going to keep working your way around the body cavity. And as you get towards the back, uh, it's definitely, it gets a little bit harder to move the skin off, so you definitely have to be cutting at this point. Now with the wing, eventually you're gonna get down to the base of the wing. What we're gonna do with that is we're actually just gonna sever the joint. So you're gonna cut with your scalpel right through the muscle where it joins up and you're going to take your kitchen shears and you're going to get around the bone and cut right through it. Okay, actually maybe I'll make it work. So now 
the wing is completely separated and it moves very easily. Then we just keep cutting through all the muscles that, that join to the, the wing. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So again, when you get down to the leg, you can either try and cut around it, or as I'm gonna do on this one, I'm just gonna leave the leg in place, and I'm actually gonna cut right through it and separate the joint. So the joint's right there. I just cut down through the muscle and pull back until it's separated. Now the reason I'm doing that is because this bird is actually partially frozen still, because I took it out of the freezer and I was really struggling to work the leg up through the skin so it'll be a lot easier to do that once it's separated so you're just gonna gently keep cutting the leg meat until you get through to the fat on the other side Now the goal is to get around the body so that you can basically get your fingers underneath uh, and through the backside of the body. Now sometimes the body can be really uh, hard to get around so uh, it helps to just start down at the tail. And so here you can see the anus is right here and if you peel the skin back a little bit further than the anus you can feel where the tail feathers end. So we're gonna cut a little bit past the anus. And then we're gonna use the kitchen shears go right through you can tell where to cut because the whole tail will move uh, as one because the tail feathers are quite stiff so where that uh, pivoting point is is where you want to cut cut right through and separate the vertebra right there like that separated the vertebra you can take your knife and start working through and around the back side of the body like this now once you get to this point it's pretty easy you just hold it by the tail and let the weight of the body pull itself down as you separate it from the skin. Alright, as you get down here we're reaching the other wing joint again. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to cut through that bone. So now we have the whole body of the duck separated and all that remains is the neck. You can actually just peel the skin right back and just keep peeling it until you get as close to the skull as possible. And when you get up there, cut the neck.
just like that. Now, this is your duck's body. So now you can go ahead and take out the breasts like you normally would. And you can see in detail how to do this on the other video that I made. Press number two, and then we can get up into the body cavity right here. We're getting a neat little incision. And we can get out our livers. I'm actually going to leave this liver behind because it looks like it got shot and it's uh, got a pretty bad hematoma. So, But here's the gizzard. Cut that out. There we go. And keep in mind this is all frozen right now so it's kind of hard to get to it. But, uh, there is the heart. So, now I've got my meat taken care of, and I have my duck still perfectly intact and ready to be sent to the taxidermist. Not to mention that this takes up a lot less space in your freezer, so you're ready to go for next season if you don't decide to send this off right away. Um, the last thing that you need to do is come back here to the tail, and there's a gland here called the CDC gland, and it produces an oil that these birds use to keep their feathers um, being water repellent and if you don't remove this gland the the mount will eventually start to get really oily from the oils that are inside of it and it'll leak out so what you want to do is carve down around this gland and you'll see it looks like two little eggs And there's the gland. Got that off. So there you have it. You see, I nicked the the skin a little bit there, but that doesn't matter. You can uh, you can stitch that right up. So the end result here is that these uh, these tail feathers, the quills down at the base, don't have any of that gland on there. And if you missed any, you want to make sure that you uh, go back and get that out. Like I missed a tiny little piece right here. go. Alright, now you can just freeze this up again, but before you do it, what I like to do is just use uh, some soapy water and give it a quick scrub down and then um, you can throw it into the freezer uh, and uh, send it off to your taxidermist. <clears throat> now, if you want to go and, and try and do taxidermy on this yourself, um, then you'll have to follow my uh, my upcoming videos um, and the first step for doing that is to remove all of this remaining meat and fat that's on the skin so I'll make a video about how to do that anyway guys I hope that was helpful uh, thank you for uh, for watching and if you have any questions uh, make sure to drop a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet make sure you do that right now uh, we'll be putting up some videos in the next few weeks. Uh, first of all, showing how to uh, finish off this whole taxidermy process, uh, but also a few other things that we'll be doing to get ready for next season. So until next time, stay safe, be diligent, and good luck in the woods, guys.